Hello my beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot and we're doing a reading for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for love, wish upon a star, Capricorn. Spirit is inviting you to wish upon a star, to manifest what you want, a merry motive, great. It looks as though this relationship is going to bring joy and happiness and fulfillment and that's something that you should look for in a relationship at this time, according to Spirit's wisdom. Body and soul connection, that is what Spirit is advising you, is on the horizon. All right, so Capricorn, the overall energy, is a new beginning in new love. So for most of you, this will be a new love reading. For others, it could continue a new beginning and uh, with somebody that you've known for a while. So take it as it resonates. The Fool card is Aquarius energy. It's, it's joyful, it's spirited. It's all about seizing the moment, seize the day, carpe diem, and you know, loving in a very gentle, sweet way, the early stages. In the recent past, between you and your person of interest, we've had competition and confusion, really not making a decision to choose one another. Really just keeping your options open. This looks like it could be a dating website kind of energy. When we look at the two of you and the way you're approaching things, it's pretty intense and I'm not sure I like this intensity Capricorn. We get the energy here of Pisces, we get Leo, we get Capricorn, that is your energy. You are very, very bent on not letting anybody hurt you or use you or abuse you. You would rather control the situation than to have somebody running amok in your life. It's reasonable, right? The way the person of interest that you've come to the reading to ask about sees you is someone they could fall deeply in love with. Your person absolutely is embodying this boss energy of the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Your person is very stable, very successful, very much a person who motivates themselves, who lives high on life. And again, they bring all this great energy to the dynamic of the love relationship with you. They see you as a person who loves very deeply, Capricorn. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. They feel very much that you're looking for your soulmate. They feel very much that you are a nurturing, kind, loving energy that is holding back currently. In their heart space, your person is suffering some remorse and regret about, uh, and this is Queen of Wands energy again, they're feeling some remorse and regret about some possible past relationships that did not work out because they took kind of a very assertive leadership role in the relationship. And we see them converting their energy now to this Queen of Swords energy, head over heart, lock my heart in the cage, you know, make decisions based on logic first. Choose a person who will be there for, they see you as a person who will be there for them. We see the King of Pentacles energy. That's Taurus energy. So your person wants stability, Capricorn. And that is a very good match for you. So I do see their soulmate potential here in the relationship. The energy of where that's hidden between the two of you is that both of you have had to go through a period of difficulty in which people who are around you challenged you by not telling you the truth. Both of you are seeking the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I will accept nothing less. Spirit is saying this could be the lifetime love that you've always wanted, happily ever after. You know, Spirit is saying, yes, yes, Capricorn, I know that you've had a punch in the head by somebody like a cartoon character, though. You need to get up and be ready to love again. You know, body and spirit. Look for someone who's fun, who's lively. And the Queen of Wands is both lively and loving. The Justice card is a card of divorce, 
of balancing things out, of legal paperwork. It's Libra energy. We have it here twice, so you might be dealing with a Libra or Capricorn. But we do have your person is all in their head, the Nine of Swords energy. You, you know, the energy that both of you have is that you're not moving forward until something is completed and balanced out. So if one of you is going through a divorce, and it looks like one of you may be going through a divorce, the other person is not going to really do much other than have fun, which is fun is a good thing, a merry motive. They're not going to give body and soul until they really, um, you know, until they really feel that the wish fulfillment uh, energy is apparent in this relationship and it's going to take time so let's go ahead and clarify the cards but the two of you are in a good space you both know what you want you both have great clarity and you're both willing to do the work and neither of you want to make um, you know an error in love so that's okay so why do we have the eight of cups the Eight of Cups, excuse me, the Seven of Cups is confusion, keeping your options open, letting people compete for your attention. Well, it is a chess play. So both of you are playing in this chess-like energy to win. You're both in it to win it in the game of love, in the game of life. So right now you're not making any premature uh, associations or you're not making any premature judgments. Ten of Wands, you've had many burdens in your life from partners. You are letting them go. When we get to the Devil energy, you are hell-bent on eliminating Five of Swords energy, somebody who's going to lie, cheat, steal, as we can see here in this Ace of Swords energy. You want someone who is happy, who lives in merriment, who lives to enjoy life. The Sun card, Leo energy. Very strong, palpable energy. Who doesn't like a sunny day at the beach or a sunny day? You know, it's sunshine in your uh, relationship. Will Capricorn be able to let go of control and your person? Will you be able to do that? Yes! The two of you will be able to get out of toxic energy as you get to know each other better. Three of coins as you learn to collaborate you know, on life and how to have this relationship. The three of coins is beautiful energy. It's the kind of energy that says, hey, let's buy a house together. Let's get married. Let's make plans. Let's go to the next level. Let's hold on to each other and be faithful to each other and be solid with each other and ignore other people to develop this relationship. So it's I like the energy. Both of you are very toxicity avoidant. <laughs> I, I've never said that in a reading, but that's what I'm seeing, so that's what I'm saying. Eight of coins, your person really wants to love you very well, very deeply in all the ways that you would like to be loved. Eight of coins energy is the energy of somebody perfecting their technique, their movers, their moves, their moves with you in love. Your person wants to know what kind of love, what's your love language. They want to learn all about you so that they can be, uh, they can manifest a relationship in which both of you are dedicated and joyful and committed. The Two of Cups, your person right now is holding back on the way they feel, intentionally so. They do feel, you know, they feel as though you are also holding back. The Fool card, they feel as though once the relationship has a new beginning. Once some other matter, matters in the legal department are settled, they feel that you will open your heart to them. When we look at the Nine of Swords energy being all up in your head, you have it twice in this reading. Your person has it much more than you do, but you both have angst about the process of what appears to be a divorce or a legal situation that's impacting the relationship at this time. So we have two of coins. Your person feels very sad. They do not feel that you are giving them your undivided attention. Your person feels as though you're grieving the loss of somebody in your life, of possibly a marriage, but they definitely see that you still have a very strong draw and responsibility level to someone else that you're juggling your relationship with them. Um, that's what 
your person is doing. They feel that you could be doing that to them. They could be doing it to you. The Ten of Cups, what do they want with you? My gosh, they want happily ever after. And Spirit is saying this is the same card. Pisces energy, if you can see it, you can believe it, you can have it. So what do we have here? We have the Spirit of Pentacles. We have the Daddy energy coming into this reading to make an offer to so your person when they think about everything logically your person capricorn wants to make a significant offer taurus energy they want to make an offer that you will value highly why do we have the seven of wands here in the energy that both of you feel defensive spirit of swords head over heart both of you want to be logical you don't want your emotions to run away with you both of you want to stay calm, cool, collected, and base your relationship choices with each other on the truth once again. The Innocence, Page of Swords, Gemini Energy. Both of you watch each other online for the enjoyment of it, but you're also watching carefully to see who else is interacting with your person. Why do you have the hanged man here? Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly. You know, you're hanging on to what you think is possible at all costs. We have Spirit of Cups. You are holding back though. Your emotions are feeling a bit overwhelming at this time for you. Spirit is recommending that it's the worst is not over yet, but it soon will be. Balance will be restored. So let's see, what, what, why do we have the Justice card here? Why are you all up in your head? Oh, beautiful energy, the strength, the power, the discipline, the love to make this work. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. We have divine partners, beautiful energy. And the competition is over. So it looks like in a short period of time, Capricorn, your relationship settles into, look at that, popped out, long-term commitment but neither of you are willing to talk about it. You're both sort of sneaking around with all of this love sort of overflowing in your heart. You're not telling each other, you're keeping it from one another. However, you are both very much on the same page. You want the same things. You're going through a similar struggle. You both have had moments of time when you, you know, you wondered if love would be yours, but spirit is saying, Mary, 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 a merry motive, looking for happiness, not just someone who's going to be all melodramatic and there for you, really finding your person with a body and soul connection. Capricorn, sending you love from Chicago, send some back. Tell me what you think of the relationship. Please give me feedback. Tell me your story and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Hope to see you again soon in another video. Bye-bye.